name is Nick. I, I work at an emergency roadside uh, assistance program. Anyone who um, dismisses him as not being credible is wrong, 100%. Who the male may be, I'm going to say that it was a positive match. They didn't show him a picture of Jagger. He identified Jagger. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this video because I saw these few questions keep popping up in regards to the Kylie Rodney case that we now know has been ruled an accidental drowning. It seems that many people are not willing to accept this and they have questions such as, is Adventures with Purpose going to release a second video? And what was with Nick, the tow truck driver's story? So I went back through some of AWP's interviews they have done here on YouTube and I've put some together for us. So I will credit all of the creators in the description below. It looks like she has been there for quite a while. What color was the sweatshirt? It was a gray sweatshirt. Gray sweatshirt. Was, it, was it dark gray or light gray? It was light gray, okay. yeah. Uh, also, there, there was a guy there that was with her at time being. He was wearing a black San Francisco flat top ball cap facing forwards. Uh, brown hair that's sticking out just a little bit on the sides. I, he was, uh, I mean, a thinner built guy is the best way I could put it, um, with a bro tank and uh, it was white bro tank. Uh, he had some freckles on his face, like, or maybe it's like uh, acne or whatnot. But down, it was just, they, they saw us, just a chance encounter, and they tracked us down and we had the interview with them, wow. which is why we ended up over there at Boca instead of over at Prosser to begin with. Had we ended up on Prosser based upon our normal search and the way that we do things of, where were they last seen? What was last cell phone ping? We would have been right there and we would have, you know, on day one versus day two. So we always go off of last known location. And so we have no doubt in trusting him because of his presence, his girlfriend. And that the same story was told three times. It was, you know, it was from memory. It wasn't like I'm making this up on the spot. And so very credible, which gives us a new last known location. We cannot sit here and say, well, this is completely made up story. And, you know, who is this guy just out of the blue? And uh, there's going to be so many, you know, conspiracy theories, as you know, as to this, you know, coming back to the, you know, the, the car and floating and if somebody's involved or not, like I said, if somebody is, if somebody is, we have the entire interview, which will just be like, you, you're going to be blown away with that one, as well as the full interaction with uh, dad and grandpa, um, you know, right there at Lakeside versus what we cut down. We hope there's nothing more than an accident, but we don't know. At this point, we're all speculating as to what's presented before us right now. She was in the back back. Okay. And so now when you start breaking this down, again, just speculation, the, the, even though she is a small gal, you only have so much space. To say, look at a picture of Kylie and say, this is the girl that I saw, or was it more based off of the vehicle matched the description of her vehicle? Uh, right now, I'm still gathering some information based upon what I just hinted to, to you right now. Okay, gotcha. So I'm gathering more information on that one. As far as who the male may be, I'm going to say that it was a positive match. That it was a positive match. Yeah, got Without it. saying, well, wow. they didn't show him a picture of Jagger. He identified Jagger. Also, do we, uh, are we going to expect more videos from you guys during this time when there's still active investigation? On this case, no. If there are certain developments in this case, um, yes, we definitely do have another episode that will come out. Um, but that's, that's, you know, we, we can't do that or it's going to heavily compromise their investigation. So, um, you know, we're, we're at the end of the day, you know, we work with law enforcement all across the nation. So we're going to, um, help them as much as possible, as well as, you know, um, continue with our purpose. Um, absolutely, this is yeah. possible. Um, you know, it, so with, with we have our opinion. Our opinion, if you've watched our episode, is based on a lot that you see in the episode, as well as 90% of the stuff that we cannot talk about and have never been able to talk about nor comment, and that none of the public even knows. So, but does that mean we're right? Absolutely not. Uh, we're allowed to voice our opinion and we're never going to back down from that because that's our voice. At the end of the day, if this is foul play, we could never be loud enough. We know we have one of three things that are going to happen, right? They're going to announce that it's an accident. That's going to create a whole storm because nobody's going to believe that. The second thing that's going to happen is they're going to say it's inconclusive, right? Inconclusive at this point and then it's still ongoing. That's going to create another storm because of how things were handled every step of the way. They're going to, there's a lot of blaming that's going to go on because of why it's inconclusive. Or three, the third one is that, hey, it is indeed we very suspicious death and it's still an ongoing investigation. And that in itself is going to create another storm. Uh, but, you know, just because we feel a certain way doesn't mean that that's how it is. You know? Depending on 
certain positions that they may take will have a lot more info that will come forward and possibly a whole nother episode. Oh, there you have it, guys. I honestly don't believe they're going to be releasing any more footage. I think that they were going to, if this went into the direction of foul play and if an arrest was made. However, that doesn't change the fact that we're still left with so many unanswered questions.